Behind this door is where the blood product irradiation machine is placed. This machine is used to irradiate blood to prevent the occurrence of the transfusion associated graft versus host disease. Now this equipment irradiates blood using x-ray. Now when you get blood that you get either from Nakasello blood bank, it is packed well, it is cross-matched very well, and you have referred that particular blood product for irradiation, you have come with a request form, you have come with evidence of cross match. So we get that blood that you have brought, of course we register it. After registering it, we have a control where we show the visual verification of either the blood is successfully irradiated or it is not irradiated. Nahuera explains that when the blood is brought, it is put in these canisters. These have to be closed very well before being placed in the chambers. If you are talking about whole blood, now if you're talking about uh, packed cells, maybe they have come in three packets, then you're going to put two uh, packets in one canister and then an extra packet in another canister. So you put this blood into your chamber, make sure it is well locked, and you clip it there so that it does not, the cover does not flip off. Now we irradiate actually six units per cycle. Now a cycle takes 4.7 minutes, that is 280 seconds. That means in a day we can irradiate in active eight hours, 288 uh, units of blood. He gives a demonstration of how the machine works. After I pressed in my product inside the canister, then I put it inside here, it's locked by it's locked. It doesn't matter where I place it. If I, if I have one unit, I can irradiate it. If I have six units whole, I can irradiate them. So, but of course, whatever you put in here, it is radiated for 280 seconds. When the machine is closed, he then presses a certain button for the irradiation process to start. I press the start button, it immediately starts counting down up to zero. And of course, after it has completed, it will give a buzzer. How does one tell that the blood product has been fully irradiated? Now, if I put it in and I don't give adequate radiation, this will not change, this note will not disappear. So this is the visual proof that a product has been successfully irradiated. The experts are hoping that with the machine in place, it will help reverse deaths linked to blood transfusion complications. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV Weekend Edition.